Hi there! This is the first one of the Network Getting Started videos. My name is Chris and in this video I want to show you how to use the Network UI and how to create a new project. Whenever you start up Network, the start page is coming up first. It helps you to create new projects or to enter recent projects. As in many other programs, your work is structured in projects. So let's create a new project from the scratch. Therefore you push the link New Project. Select Create Project from Template and select a template. In this case we select Sections Template. We have to give it a name and then we have to choose where to store the project. In this case I call the project Getting Started 1. Press finish and immediately you see the main project file, the so-called net file. The net file contains already the structure you need for simulation. The different parts of this structure are divided by the buzzwords within the squared brackets. In order to explore your project a little further, you should open the project explorer with this button. The Project Explorer appears on the right-hand side of your screen and it shows all the files associated with your project. You can see that the net file is already opened in the text editor. But there is also a CTL file which stores all the simulation settings. If you know what you are doing, you can enter all the settings in the text editor. But for more convenient input of the data, you can also use the input masks. Let's not care about this for a while and look for the other files in the Project Explorer. For example, the disturbance file. Again, you can enter the disturbances in the text editor or use the masks for entering the disturbances. The next important file is the plotter file, the file with the ending PLO. Here you define all the channels that you want to see later in diagrams. Again you can enter in text format or you use the mask for this. The Netema kernel stems from the time when Fortran has been used very often. This is why also most of the data is still entered in column based fashion. The editor highlights the columns in the background with grey color and also always shows you the column names on the top. The help will become your best friend when you use Netomark. You can either enter it via pressing F1 key or via help and opening the help UI. The input format is described under the procedure manual. Especially when you want to input network elements you can look for network elements and see all kinds of elements such as lines. Here you find the column names as described before and the belonging data on the right side of this table. You should read the table as follows. Type belongs to the column marked with T. Name 1, name 2 and name 3 belongs to the following columns all having 8 characters and it call belongs to the columns marked with A, and so on. I hope I could give you a first overview about our Netomark software. If you want to become a real pro, go on watching the next lessons. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.